In the summer of 2010, the St. Peter's College Pars Institute, in collaboration with the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, made a once-in-a-lifetime journey to the edge of space and back. Their mission? To stimulate the minds and spark the imaginations of some of New Jersey's brightest educators. The Pars Institute, short for Practical Applications of Research in Science Education. Their goal was to improve the quality of science and math education in New Jersey schools by providing instruction for teachers, many who have never had the opportunity for hands-on research in a real laboratory. In each summer session, the Institute provides one week of practical application of scientific theory, followed by two weeks of research in a lab with a group of scientists. But in its second year, the research had a certain gravity to it, or to be more specific, microgravity. The members of PARS had the chance to visit Andrew Zwicker, head of the science education program at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, who shared an exciting new prospect for research. Mr. Zwicker gave the folks at PARS the opportunity to join him and his team from the Department of Energy on a flight aboard the Weightless Wonder, a plane provided by the Zero-G Corporation and chartered by NASA that simulates the weightlessness felt by astronauts in orbit above the planet. Flying at 24,000 feet will execute a series of parabolas. The plane will perform 20 to 25 of these parabolas at varying degrees, recreating the sensations of zero gravity, lunar gravity, Martian gravity, as well as hypergravity, or double the Earth's gravity, at the bottom of each parabola. What would normally be an excellent thrill ride in its own right would become a unique opportunity for the team at Pars. They were to bring an experiment, one they could easily replicate in their classrooms, on board the Weightless Wonder, and observe how it performs in the absence of gravity. With only a few weeks to go before the flight, the team had to come up with an experiment. But not just any would do. In order to secure a spot on the plane, the experiment would not only have to be replicable in a classroom, but it would have to meet NASA's strict requirements for flight, demonstrate it to NASA engineers, and fit inside a large clear container from where it would be operated during the flight. With these requirements in mind, the PARS team decided to pursue an investigation of complex fluids in microgravity. Specifically, they were going to study the effects of acoustic energy on Ubalik. If you're still wondering what any of that means, let's go step by step. Ooblek is a fluid created by mixing water and cornstarch. On its own, water is what's known as a Newtonian fluid, meaning it keeps its fluid properties when force is applied to it. But a mixture, like Ooblek, becomes thicker or more viscous when it's hit by a force. In this experiment, it will be bombarded by sound waves from a speaker. This change in fluid properties is part of what classifies Ublek as a non-Newtonian fluid. The PARS team, having come to a decision, would now have to design, construct, and ship their experiment to Houston, Texas, where they were to gather with research teams from several other institutions, and with the approval of NASA, get their experiments off the ground. <laughs> 